My visit was absolutely amazing today. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Very good, very good. I did not realise there was so much stuff in it. I enjoyed it. It was very, very nice, very educational. I had a very good tour guide, explained everything to us. It's a joy to come. The Battle of Ockham is significant because it's a turning point in Irish history. It was a battle fought between James II and William III, neither of whom were here at the battle. It was fought with their two armies, 20,000 on each side. The Jacobites were commanded by the General Samru and the Williamites were commanded by Goddard Dick Ginkle. The day was going fantastically well until Samru was taken out by an artillery shot and after that it turned into a complete rout and a complete slaughter. The Visitor Centre offers both an educational and fun day out for the visitor. It's where it can engage and interpret and reimagine one of the bloodiest and significant battles in European history. So you have interpretive boards, you can examine the artefacts and artillery. We have muskets of the time and swords and then you can relive the life of the soldier where you see their personal kits, all the equipment that they had to carry. My favourite part of the Visitor Centre is probably the diorama looking at all different colour uniforms and the flags, it just shows you how difficult it was to identify who was friend and who was enemy. The mannequins and the costumes, you can get an idea of what life was like and what the costumes and what living with like the soldier was like. So we have from the soldier's costume to the general's costume and then as they say, behind every great man there's a great woman. So we have an officer's lady's costume and then we also have a working soldier's wife's costume as well. Some very, very good mannequins there, beautiful soldiers, don't know. Very good class, I like them. It'd be nice to dress up in some of the costumes sometimes, wouldn't it? It brings the big kid out in a lot of people. The minute they see the mannequins or the costumes, they want to try them on. And I think it just brings people back a little bit and they see all the fantastic bits of equipment we have here. Mark and Joyce collection is a fantastic collection that we are so privileged to have here. The amount of artefacts from around the world that Mark and Joyce had gathered is astonishing. Pieces from the Congo, pieces from the Battle of Ockram, pieces from modern Irish history. There's a bit for everyone. Families come together and there's a mix of education and fun. Same with school tours. You see the children coming in and they just love to look at the artillery. They love looking at the soldiers. A new addition to the centre is our map board activity game and it's called Wearing St Ruth's Hat. They can be St Ruth and arrange their soldiers for battle. My favourite part is the battlefield trail. I love going out onto the battlefield and seeing where all the action happened. It is essentially open fields, but you do get a sense that you're on a battlefield when you're there. People feel excited when they're here. They often find out things that they didn't know. This is a forgotten part of Irish history, so everyone learns something when they walk away from here. If I was trying to persuade somebody to come here to the centre, I'd say this is one of the places you just cannot miss. You have to come see this. If you're to understand anything of the William I. Wars in Ireland, you have to visit here. You can have a, a fantastic time, learn an awful lot of history about what actually happened in 1691. I would strongly recommend it. I think it's a lovely, a lovely few hours to come and see what's in Ockham and Chapter Centre. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. I wouldn't mind coming back soon. <laughs> This is an experience of a lifetime really, when you come in here and see this place, it's a forgotten gem.